Howdy folks, Clutch here. Welcome back to Upper Mississippi River Valley. We are on the 80s server, the 80s playthrough right now. Oh boy, look at the fall. It's definitely here. It's getting cold. I've got like the winter parka going on, six degrees Celsius. That's a little nipply. I could cut glass with these bad boys right here. I'm telling you, it's getting cold. Um, we've got some bales to pick up out here still. This is from uh, Stabby Stab. Uh, from uh, the live stream we did the other day, actually. I still got some bales left in here. What is it, just like two? Oh, we got no bales out of this field, guys. I had big plans. I thought this field was going to be dynamite for, for bales, and we got next to nothing. Like, there's nothing, and then there's what we got out of that field. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I was hoping to get like a half dozen bales. Oh, boy. Best driver in farm sim. Um, I was hoping to get like a half dozen bales. I just lost my bail. How did I didn't learn how to stab clutch? Come on. Um, and I got one. I think I got one. And then I had a bit of straw left over in the, the bloody baler. And uh, so we lost. We didn't get straw or we didn't get grass. We got or didn't get hay. We got straw. Uh, yeah, that is my life right now. It's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go grab the other bale uh, and we'll load this back on up. And uh, we got one more harvest to go take care of. Today. We got half that other field that we didn't get done the other day. We got to finish that off. So we'll jump in, go take care of that. Once we get this bale, let's do this thing. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. I think that straw bale is the last one. Is that it? I don't. Let's go for a quick drive down to the end just to make sure there's no other bales down here. I don't see anything over here. Yeah, is there one at the very end? Like, that'd be just my luck. It, it just kind of dropped it off at the end. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, we can plant Elf Alpha on this map, and I've been told that that Elf Alpha gets you a better yield. Um, we got next to nothing off the grass, guys. I was Like I said, I was really hoping that this would be a decent crop, of, just another uh, of hay at least. But we got... <laughs> I, I brought one bale back with me and I think it might have had half I don't even like I don't even think that was a full bale I think that was just a half a bale or something like that it was pretty minor stab go did I get this one? Oh, I got this one good um but unfortunately I had a little bit of straw left over in that baler and so when we came out to pick up the grass well the first bale was all straw because of that that is kind of a colossal uh, epic fail yeah that's what we do around here Anyways, I'm gonna go uh, throw these in. Uh, we do need to go feed. We need to feed some cows. So I'm gonna go take one. If I can get that square bale that's in the back there. If I can get that bad boy out of here. Is there any more, no more square bales for round bales? Um, you know what? We'll drop this right here in a second. I'll come grab the other tractor. We'll load this bale buster up and see if we can get some straw in there as well. But I wanna get some feed for our cattle. Now, all I've got is hay. Like I said, uh, we, th we thought about doing a silage, but we couldn't get around to it this year, so maybe next year we'll be able to do it. But guys, if grass is going to be this hard to come by, then that's just not going to be an option for me. Ah, we'll take us around, bale. That's fine. Back this on. Let's go feed them. I mean, I can't even really get enough hay to to make it through the winter here, let alone silage and try to try to make TMR. Um, I mean, TMR wouldn't be that big of a deal, I suppose, if, if we could come up with a way of getting the silage. Uh, this is just going to sit here, isn't it? It is too. That's fine. Yeah, if we could find a way of getting... The grass is really going to be the problem because then I need hay as well. I need hay and grass. I, I can't even get enough grass right now. The straw is not a problem. But yeah, I can't get enough hay, let alone grass. So anyways, that uh, that's kind of problem number one. Let me go uh, grab... I've got a, a water trailer. I don't. I need to top up the water in there as well. This should top up the uh, that cistern we got there. A little water tank for the, the cattle. So that should be good for them at least. Now... This will last like a day. This literally does not last. There's just not enough water in it. It doesn't store enough. Uh, what do we got in there right now? Can you see it? Yeah, it's about half. So maybe a little bit more we could use. Let's hook this on up. Oh, missed. Let's back this up a touch. Just a bit too far there. All right, we'll offload that. Water going in. You can see the, the measuring bar going up there. Good, good, good. So it should be almost uh, seven eighths full, I guess, something along those lines. Once we get this last tank in here, there's seven thousand liters, but yeah, it's almost full. Look at that, nice, cool. That's good enough. We'll leave it there for now. And uh, cattle are fairly happy. Last thing, a little bit of straw. Let's get a little bit of straw going on. 
And to do so, we need the 4450 hooked up to that bail buster. Yes, this thing turns so sharp. Man, by comparison to that combine, guys, this thing just cranks it over. Like, no problems whatsoever. All right, let's hook this on up. And uh, from there, we should be able to go grab the 4440 and dump some bales in. That is, of course, if I can sit and squeeze by everything in here. It's a little bit tight now. Uh, we'll sit this like this. It'd be easier if I went the other way, but that's okay. Let's see. Best driven farms and we can handle this. Lift this on up. And... Perfect. Dumpy dump. <laughs> um, depth perception clutch. Um, depth perception. That looks... Yeah, never mind. All right, let's try that one more time. This time with a feeling, of course. <laughs> hey, look at that. Yay. All right. All right, get to busted. Um, hey, do I need to poke you some more? There we go. Needed to get another little poke, and it was good. Don't get sucked in. Don't want to get the fork sucked into that thing. All right, let's go take a quick look about. This is perfect. This just drops our straw right down into our cattle area down below. The system is working out flawlessly. It's like I know what I'm doing. Excellent. Um, I wonder if we're going to need another bale. I wonder if we're going to need another bale. Let's go downstairs and take a look. Uh, looks like it's okay. We'll see. We'll see how much. It might need a bit more by the time it gets done. We'll have to take a quick look. Um, lots of straw coming down here, though. And one bale was not enough. Let's grab a second one. Nice. Oh. Stay nice and pretty. Don't wreck my nice bales. Nice. <laughs> every single time I do this, I swear, I, I feel like I'm going to knock every one of those bales over. All right. And that's as close as we're going to get for now because I'm running into something. Uh, and back up. Sweet. All right. That should be more than enough. Excellent. All right, guys. We need to put this away. Uh, I'm going to leave this actually up here because I have a funny feeling I'm going to need it later on anyways for more feeding. Nice. Lower this down. we got to get into that field, finish off the harvest. Uh, last little bit of harvesting left to go, and we'll be done for the season. Back in the Chev, heading across to the last field. Now, I do have straw that I could potentially bale here. Uh, we got the straw on the left, and which is the same field, actually, that I need to continue harvesting. Uh, so that's a whole one field. Uh, we cut it off in half just because we were didn't have time to get through it all in one day. So I took a bit of a break here. A little bit of a breather. If you missed that, that was done in the live stream, actually. You can see this is where the cutoff was. Yeah, right by the road closed sign. Spin this around. Uh, there is quite a bit of straw still out here. We could potentially grab if we really felt like it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stress about this though. There's no reason to worry too much about it. It's a lot of straw, to be honest with you, and uh, I don't have a real need for it. I'm just gonna sell it if I if I get it off. So it's not like it's, it's not something I need for the cattle at least. So, anyways, we'll leave it there. We'll see how much time we got. If it's still nice, maybe the first day of winter I can come by and pick it up. But it really depends. We're late in season right now. It all depends on the weather. All right, the 8820 Turbo. It's uh, it's seen better days, but it's still running for us. It's just a bit of a mess. Oh, she's a bit of a mess, folks. But that's all right. Now, I am struggling a little bit with this. This header is a touch too big. She is a touch too big. What do you expect? I need to get this work done. No, come on. Get on up. Get, get on up there. Come on. Oh, see what I mean? The header is just a little bit too big. So we're going to have to uh, back on up, lift this on out of the way, and we'll just have to come down the hill over here. This is too steep, obviously. Uh, thought we'd be able to handle it, but I guess not. Start right here and just kind of crank my way in. Drop this down, and we should be good from here. There we go. Not the ideal situation, but we have a solution, and that's all that matters. So, <laughs> it feels like um, we're getting a ton off. This is all wheat. This is going to be... I wasn't planning on using this as a cash crop, but I was just trying to think. There's not much we need wheat for. I'm not planning on doing chickens or anything anytime soon, so... Um, 
you know what so let's sell it all off i guess right we got sweet and, and soybeans are our big crops on this map man we've got a lot a lot a lot of both i i was kind of surprised how big these, this field is it took us quite a while to uh to get rid of that to go through that first half of that field and this one here is not going to be much better it's a long ways down but hopefully we can make some decent profits off of this stuff i would think i would think we're going to be able to be uh, making some decent money just coming up to the very back of the field here you know considering how dirty it is we're not losing that much damage or any having any issues with maintenance issues um i haven't cleaned this since well the fall started we haven't had it back at the shop it's always been the left in the field and it seems to be handling it ah fairly good now the header looks nice and clean mind you the combine yeah she's she's seen better days i'm curious to see what it looks like when we washed i can see there's some uh some paint discolorations we got some scratches going on we'll see how she looks once she gets cleaned up hopefully not too long from now uh it's got one more task left to do and then well it's this big golden field right in front of us it's a big task i'm pretty sure the 8820 turbo can be and handle it though um, it's done most of the work already but this one here this is gonna really put it to the last test of the year oh man i almost need a second one of these maybe we can get a case i don't know we'll take a look and see if we can buy i wouldn't mind having a second combine because we really do need to have more options for us out here in the field having one combine for a field this size oh, we need to hire some work get some helpers out here these are mass these are big fields for us yeah it'd be nice to be able to get this done a little bit quicker uh, not only that, if we end up buying any other fields, I'm not going to have time to get through them in one season. I mean, that large soybean field we started off with. Actually, we didn't even start off with that. There was a wheat field, which is kind of, well, right on our left across these trees here. We started with that one, but we got in that one really early. It was still summer. Then a large soybean field. We had a couple grass fields to cut as well. And now lastly is this massive uh, wheat field. Ah, man, I don't know. I really don't know if it'd be profitable or not. I mean, what would... I guess you got to weigh the cost versus uh, versus time analysis on this. I mean, what's a new combine going to cost us? 70, 80,000 bucks? Maybe a bit more, depending if we go used or, or new. Yeah. How much, how much crop do we got to sell to make that back? That is really going to be the question. No. It's definitely possible, but are we are we at that point right now? I mean, we don't have a ton of cash, 266 grand. We have enough to, to pull something like that off, but would I be better off to maybe buy another field first and then push push it to the absolute limit? Or should we go and buy some more equipment first? I, I don't have an answer. This is this is kind of what I'm asking you. This is a question for you, not, not for me. <laughs> I don't know what to say. One lap down, and we've got, what, 60% full? um you know what we might as well dump it in while we're here there's no point we're not gonna make it all the way back so why not just do it now all right check out the 8820 make sure you can see like i said getting some scrapes and scratches all around it it's almost looking like this is rust not dirt it's looking like she's in pretty rough shape meanwhile the gmc is looking like it's in pristine shape it looks like i haven't even taken it out of the shop it seems like there's no damage to it at all um yeah, I don't know what kind of paint or armor all we're putting on this thing, but she seems to be handling it. Anyways, that's got to almost do it. Let's jump back on in. Close that up. And, oh, let's go back right here. We'll see if we can go right where we left off. It looks like there's a spot-ish. Kind of, sort of. Maybe not. Come on, climb that hill. There we go. Yeah, there's not even a spot here. That's all right. That is okay. Through and back around for another one away we go oh man guys i just realized uh, we'll see if this works there was a young buck here a young whippersnapper was tooling around out of the road asked if he wanted something to work and he's uh he, i don't know is, is 12 too young to drive a 4450 i think he can handle it i'm sure he can handle it it'll be okay uh, i've already given him a rundown on how it all works i told him all he has to do is step on the gas and what he's gonna do is he's gonna be raking the straw into the new stuff and then just keep on raking and raking and raking until well eventually we're going to be in the middle and hopefully there's just a big pile the whole way there that is what i'm hoping for we'll see let's go so i give instructions all you got to do is step on the gas and steer that should be relatively simple for him i would think it looks like he can handle it so far we'll see we'll see how he does i'm hoping all he does is just push this straw into the middle 
Um, and that way there, you can see I did one run around just so you give him an idea what to do. Hopefully you can just push all that straw towards the middle and then eventually once we get to the end, we're just going to have a big pile of straw out there. It'll be a really quick one to bale if I decide to bale it come winter. But you can see some of the problems we're running into back there. Yeah, it's a little tricky. As long as he stays out of the crop, of course. Oh, oh, oh I'm missing a little bit. We should be okay. Nice. So he's just going to rake down to the side. I got to finish this harvest up. So far, so good for the most part. I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to bale this or not yet, but this will make the baling process, well, rocket smooth in the grand scheme of things. I mean, look at, there's no straw over on my right here. Um, I'm not able to get it all. I, I have some problems in some of the stuff. If there's any kind of whining corners. It messes everything up. I don't know if this is really great for anything, <laughs> but we're going to find out once we get close to uh, the end over here on the way back. Um, it could be a little bit interesting, guys. Like, I, I even noticed there's one... I finished off the back section. There's kind of a... It narrows down, and then it gets really wide. So I just stayed back there and finished it all up, which is why we're full right now. But uh, we'll see what happens when the windrow that I'm currently driving over top... You can see it's down there. When that gets substantially bigger. Now, the one we had at the very back was pretty big still, but nothing compared to what's, what the potential would be of being down here. But you can see he's pushing everything in. He's doing good. Looks good to me back there. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to do this. I do need to go unload. And this is not going to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to be pretty at all. How are we going to pull this off? Maybe if I just pull up the side, like up to here, get off the uphill portion. And then just take off. Lift the header up. Open this here. We'll see how smart the kid is here. See if he uh, he follows us all the way around. He should know. Oh yeah, perfect. He's on top of this. Excellent. All right, there's another full load we'll dump in. We may need to dump it into that gravity wagon as well. But we're making some decent headway, guys. It's it's I'm surprised. It just feels like we should be getting higher volumes out of this. This doesn't seem like it's all that much. I mean, this is only the third time I've unloaded. I feel like we've. Uh, We've got more bushels than what it says. Last couple of passes left here. You know what? He's doing a decent job. Good enough for what I need. I mean, you can see on the left, we're missing some stuff on the corners. Um, I've got other fish to fry right now, and that is <laughs> the uh, the windrow bumps are causing me a little bit of grief. They're pretty big. These guys are getting pretty big. Let's watch how he does in here. How does he do? Oh, oh, oh. Is he going to make it through all that? Yeah, see, he's got her down pat. And look at the windrow he's setting up there. Oh, man, guys, this is getting a little intense. <laughs> one massive windrow. We're only at 50% on the harvester right now. The combine is, well, we did not get very much off that section. I was expecting a bit more. I mean, we didn't even fill up the truck and trailer unit. Um, yeah, we got lots of room left. We got a ton of room in there left. Let's see how he makes, makes do when we get back on out. All right, it's perfect. Uh, now you can see, like, we're missing a bunch on the outskirts, but once again, this is just straw. Even hay, I don't tend to worry too much. I get the majority of it off, and I worry about the stragglers for another day if I ever get to it. Uh, especially right now, there's no point in us going to town out here. Let's see here. I'm going to see if I can go all the way down this. He can push that windrow all the way out for me. Where is he? Yeah, they're so big. Look at the windrow behind. <gasps> oh, man. I got to go through that still, too. I've got to go through the middle of that, where that windrow is that he just pushed in. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's try this last little bit. I'm lined up on top of all this straw. Drop his head down. Oh, man. That would not be good for this thing. <laughs> the amount of straw I'm sucking in there would not be beneficial to the combine. All right. The last big bump come on get through it you can do this come on 80 20 come on oh man yes i got through it <laughs> lift this around i want to go take a look at this headland or this uh windrow i should say wow that is actually quite a bit of straw here 
I mean, look at that. It's a good amount. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see when we bail it. Um, how much we get off that, but that ain't bad. That's pretty hilarious. Oh, man. Sweet. Anyways, guys, that uh, that's going to do it. That's a wrap for the field. So that's going to do it for us today here as well. Jump. Hope you guys enjoyed our 80s series on Upper Mississippi River Valley. If you did, you know what you, do, what you guys got to do. Drop that like. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And other than that, folks, I will catch you next time. Make sure you guys wash your hands. Wash your face. Yeah, don't, don't touch your face. Yeah, you guys get it. Anyways, have a great day, guys. And we'll see you later. This is Clutch. Over and out.